Welcome back to Drive World, and today I'm going to be showing you every single garage maxed. And I'll also show you how much steel, wood, and gold you'll need to max out every single garage. And for this entire grind, I use the Hammer EV 6x6. The reason you choose this over a hypercar is because it allows for bigger trailers. And with that, the bigger trailers are able to get more rewards. So using anything that isn't a semi-truck, you're almost halving the progress you could be making. This is a weekly that you could have gotten a while back. But now the only way to get it is to buy it from someone in an auction house. Meaning it's gotten pretty rare. But if you don't have the Hammer EV 6x6, you can also use a scallop. It's pretty cheap in the shop and it's super easy to use. And if you're using the scallop, this is how I would upgrade it. Make sure you keep it the stock chassis so it can keep its weight. And for the suspension, you'll want it to be as low as possible so it flips the least amount. And that's why you have the offset so far apart. And these are the upgrades on the Hammer EV 6x6. The same with the scallop, you'll want to keep the stock chassis, and you can make the suspension basically the exact same. The only thing I'm not 100% sure about is the camber. This might just visibly change the wheels, so it wouldn't help with stopping it from flipping. And this is how I used it, and it was super easy. On the straightaways, I was able to get this thing over 200 miles per hour, which makes these deliveries go by super quick. But unfortunately, these trailers take a long time, and I don't think there's really a path that saves a whole bunch of time. But I just recommend getting these materials slowly over time, since these garages are staying forever. As as this will also save your sanity. Starting off with the very first garage, which is completely free, this is the Mechanics Garage. This garage will take you around 5 hours to fully complete it, and it'll require 1,344 wood and 238 steel. And on top of that, it'll take 250 gold to get all the car spots. This garage will suffice most people as you won't need more than 7 spaces. And this garage also looks amazing. So unless you have a lot of money to spend, there isn't really a point of getting the other garages. This is also most people's favorite garage as it offers the least amount of empty space. And onto the second garage, we have the green screen garage. I honestly forgot how much it was, I think it's like $300,000 to get it and in here you'll just be in a box of green and you can buy one car spot for 10 steel so if you make content on this game you can come into the green screen room put your car here and get a picture of it without the background which creates the headache of content creators trying to do this without a green screen room one problem though this room is extremely bright and some players might use this to annoy players but if you have 700 million you might as well work on getting the showroom garage onto the very last garage we have the showroom garage This is the most expensive garage starting at a price of $10 million. This garage will require a super dedicated player, as it'll take around 20 hours to complete this entire garage. In this time, you'll need to get 6,942 wood and 686 steel. And on top of this, if you don't have 450 gold, you won't be able to get all the car spots, making this probably the most expensive thing in the entire game. And instead of seven spots in the original garage, this one has a total of 12, meaning if you have a bigger car collection, this is definitely the better garage for you, as you're able to show off even more more cars and completing the showroom garage is a serious flex as some of the upgrades cost upwards of 1000 materials with some quick math that's at least four deliveries for one upgrade meaning this garage will take a long time and if you want a chance to win 10 million dollars so you can get this garage make sure to put your discord down in the comments and i'll pick a few at random to give 10 million dollars and i'm also going to be doing a giveaway in my discord for 10 million dollars so you have a chance to get it there as well and i also want to look at some other people's garages so i'm going to pick some people at random let's start off with this person named chatting and it's completely empty the next person we have is slade wilson and they have two cars in here the first one being the lfa extreme i'm pretty sure and they also have the zeta and it seems like they're going for this orange pattern which looks pretty cool but it seems like they're still working on upgrading it all as they haven't got anything back here on to the next garage which we have from yusef we have the prince the zephyr evo the ferrari f40 without the roof i think this is called the r400 bc in game the bavette the carrera gt which i think this might be the new one and the yesco over 
here. And then we also have the scimitar back here. Overall, this garage looks super good and it might be the best one I've seen in game so far. And they've actually finished the entire garage, meaning they spent at least five hours grinding to get everything. And that's pretty crazy as the garages have only been out for around four days. On to the next one by boss. We have three cars in here. It's not really upgraded though. And we had the Hoonigan here, but now I guess he changed it. It had the 100 million rims, which I don't think you get anymore. So those are pretty rare. Oh, there it is again. We have the Hoonigan Nimbus, which is one of the most liked weeklies that have ever come out alongside the drag pal. Oh, and now he's back to the Hoonigan Nimbus. And we also have the Vulture, which we don't have anymore. Now he put the Hellion here. Oh, and now we put the S34 Extreme. And now the... Oh, the S35 Extreme is gone. Oh, now the Apex GTR. Oh, I think that's the Tiger 1. Uh, I don't know what that one's called. You know what? Uh, I think I'll just, uh, I'll just slowly back away and I'll just leave him to it. Another garage, which is by LR Reaper. This one is almost maxed, but you can see that the sliding doors aren't back here. And it seems like he also has to buy this door over here. We have the normal Casper over here with a really interesting spec, and it also has a mustache. And we also have the normal Contender, I believe. The current weekly car. This Riced Out Horizon, I think it's called. Another Bavette in a purple color, and this one also has a mustache. And then we have this Yesco that seems like it's almost full stock. And then I believe this is the starter car, but you can still buy this from the shop. So this one's also pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's the best I've seen so far. Although there's a lot of garages that haven't even gotten started yet. Here we actually have a showcase garage, which is $10 million. So they've had to grind a lot to get that. And on top of that, they've had to grind the materials to get this place upgraded a little bit. And so far they have this spot right here for the Hooligan Cyber Truck. They bought one spot over here for the Hooligan Nimbus. And then in this main spot, they're showcasing the Zeta in this ethereal camo. And if we head up the stairs you can see that they haven't bought this place yet which is definitely the worst part of this entire garage but they have this up here and they also have the plants down here which from what i remember these plants were actually pretty expensive but a lot of the garages are still empty as you can see when i click through some of these garages But if you want a chance of being in one of my videos, I'm going to be making one where I rate viewers garages. And if you want to have a chance of being in this video, make sure to go to my discord down in the description. Once you're in my discord, you'll want to go to the auto assign roles chat and make sure to click the car icon so you'll get a ping whenever I need help. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these garages and I'll see you in the next video.